Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the decimal module. Uh, our main focus is just going to be on how we can improve the uh, accuracy of the floating point number. In a later tutorial, we will go through the whole decimal module and explain everything that goes on in there. There's a lot of content. Uh, basically what the decimal module does is creates a new data type. Right? It's not actually a floating point number, but it's so similar we can treat it as one. All right? So let's get started. How we use a um, module in Python, since we haven't discussed this, is we got to import it from, it's in another directory in the Python software. All right, so we do from, so we're saying from that directory, which that directory is called decimal, we're going to say import everything, classes, functions, everything's in there. So we use an asterisk, all right, hit return. Now we need to set the precision. You know how in the round function we were setting like two, three, our second argument in the round function, basically that was setting precision for the round function, but now we need to set the precision for the um, decimal module. The default is 28, so 28 spaces after the decimal point is where it's going to be the precision, where it's going to set, hey, this is, we're going to go further, okay? But we're going to round at that point. So that's what it's doing there. So to do this, we do get context, all right? And then um, our parentheses, and we're going to say P R E C is equal to, and then our precision, uh, precision uh, spot we want. So we're going to say five in this case, all right? <coughs> Sorry. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is go back to where we were with um, in the floating point inaccuracies where I showed you where there was issues. So what I'm going to do is since we got it installed or act, activate, I should say, the software, we're going to go ahead and create an equation here, look at it, and how we're going to fix it with the decimal module. So we're going to say A is equal to 0 0.1 uh, plus 0 0.2. All right. Then we're going to say, what is A? A is 0 0.3000 and a bunch of zeros and a four, right? So that's not accurate enough for us. So we are going to go ahead and bring in the decimal module. So let's do this one more time so you guys can practice. From decimal, import, and then we're going to import all with asterisks. Then we're going to say um, get context like this, and we're going to set our precision this time to one, all right? Well, we got to hit equal sign, then one. All right, because we want it to stop on 0 0.3. So we're setting precision at one decimal point or one position after the decimal point. Hit return. And then we're going to go ahead and say B is equal to decimal like this. And then when we bring in the decimal class here, we're basically saying, hey, this is a new data type. So we're going to say 0 0.1, all right, and close out that class. And then we're going to say plus decimal, all right, new data type. As 0 0.2 and hit return. Now we're going to do B. What is B? B is decimal 0 0.3. All right, see now that's more precise than our float numbers up here. Now you may be wondering, hey, I got a decimal, but I wanted a float. How do I do that? You just do float. All right, B, like that. Now you got 0 0.3. There you go. Now you got super precise numbers. And it's a floating point number. Yeah, you got to do a little extra steps, but hey, we got got what you needed. All right, let's take a look at uh, one more example here. We're going to do 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is equal, equal to 0 0.3. We saw this was false, all right? So let's go ahead and do from decimal import all. All right, so what I'm doing here is make getting you guys to write this so you get used to it. Get context point uh, precision, and we're going to set the precision to one as well. All right. Now let's go ahead and do decimal. And we're going to go ahead and do the uh, equation in the here. We'll do a 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. So now we're going to do the equation, then create the new data type decimal. And we're going to say that is equal, equal to decimal. 0 0.3. In return, we get false. Why is that? Well, 
when we're given the equation in here, this decimal is not always accurate as well. But there's one way around this. I'm going to show you how to fix that. All right. Um, so what we're going to do, if we do, uh, let's say decimal, let's take a look at what the number actually was. It returned to us 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. And that returns this decimal number to us. Remember when we called the float, we're getting this long zeros and the four. Well, this is the actual, actual number that's actually going 28 locations out because that's what it was set to, all right? Um, so let's do this. Let's do uh, A is equal to uh, decimal, and then we're gonna do 0 0.1, and then we're gonna do plus decimal 0 0.2, all right? Now we call A, and we get decimal 0 0.3. Now it's accurate, all right? So we do, if we do the equation up here inside decimal, we're not going to have accurate because these are two floating point numbers getting added to each other, making a new floating point number before it becomes a decimal data type. So that's the reason why we're getting that here. Um, so down here, we're taking a, a floating point number, converting it to a decimal, and then same thing here, floating point number to a decimal, and then we do the equation. So that's the difference. All right. So down here, we got decimal 0.3. Then we could do float, uh, yeah, let's do float A is equal, equal to 0 0.3. All right, hit return, and it's true. All right, so there you go. If you guys have any questions, please let me know over at mastercode.online. Like I said, we are going to go through the whole decimal uh, module when we get there and probably about 10 tutorials uh, and also the fraction module as well that could uh, benefit you as well. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.